Okay. So, it's 6 o'clock. Uh, my alarms have just gone off. And uh, it's time to get up and get ready to go to the view. Um, the show just ended like seven hours ago. And I got to bed about five hours ago. Um, so after a two show day, it's time to get up and get ready to go meet the ladies. Whoopi and Joy and Elizabeth and Sherry and Barbara. I'm excited to meet Joy Behar. She's kind of my favorite. So that'll be fun. But here we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the dressing room, as you can see. Um, this is my dressing room. Um, and we are just getting ready to go up for sound check. Oh, there's the view ladies. My favorite, Joy Behar. A little Barbara Walters action. Whoopi, Elizabeth, Sherry, and me. Um, so yeah, so we're getting ready to go up and do our sound check. We're going to get into uh, our mics and uh, our show shoes and head up to the stage and do a little rehearsal, a little sound check, and then back down here. P.S. Betty White is here today. So I'm going to get a chance to meet her. That's going to be really awesome. Um, so yeah, so I will be checking in here in just a few minutes. We're getting ready for the view. Well, I'm not getting ready for the view. Elizabeth and Erica are getting ready for the view. It's early, huh? We're, we're getting ready a little early so that we can nap. <laughs> yeah. You're going to take a nap? Oh, God, yes. Because we have like I two hours, right? I would be doing this. <laughs> what's, uh, what's, what are you excited about today? Sleeping. Anything? Sleeping? <laughs> I'm so focused. You know we were just talking about how, um, how fantastic the director, Mike, Mark, um, Mark, Mark, how fantastic the director Mark is. Yeah, it's, awesome. it's going to be really, a really nicely done. I saw the sort of scratch recording of it. It looks really nice. And he's really paying a lot of attention to detail, and they have that cool, like, background. They came and took pictures. Oh, of the background's it. awesome. Yeah. Pictures of uh, the set. I keep it in my room. <laughs> are you excited to meet Betty White? You see, uh, Susan Lucci's here too. Susan Lucci and Betty White and Very Whoopi nice. and the gals. Yeah, yeah Whoopi came out. I was like, oh, hey. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Hey, Whoopi. It's a normal What's day at the office. Are you right. excited? Uh, I, yeah, I'm like you guys. I'm exhausted. And, uh, it's sort a of, week. I've been, I I've been documenting this since this morning, since I first got up. So. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, you like woke up and turned it on. Yeah, I did. Like, All right, well, we'll see you out there. Bye. See you on the ice. Hey, Paul, how's it going, buddy? Hi. How's it going, buddy? I'll see your little game or your name tag there for the view. Yeah, ready to go on the view. This is like my this is my second time on TV this week. I'm like going crazy. What was your first? I was on Law and Order last night. Was, what? Yeah, yeah. I did Why didn't you tell anybody? Well, you know, I was. We've been so busy. I get. I got so caught up doing the show and like you know. But it was. It went really well. It went great. And at least like my family saw it and they were. What did you play? I played this crazy guy, guy who lives on a houseboat who finds who finds a leg of all things. So it was good. I, I kind of I told the. I told the, I, I kind of said that if I'm going to have this beard, I, get, I better get my crazy down because yeah. I'm going to go in for a lot of kind of crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, get it in while you can. But it's, uh, but it was really fun and I got to do a scene with Ice-T and that was uh, nice. That was yeah. Snoop Dogg was in my dressing room. He signed the wall in Wait, my dressing Snoop room. Snoop Dogg was in your dressing room? At the one that I'm oh, in right here. now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, I thought the Jacob. So I was like, no, Snoop, I, you I, see once? What? I walked in and it said, <laughs> it says Snoop Dogg loves the view. Oh, wow. It's pretty awesome. brilliant. Awesome. Uh, what are you most excited about today? Um, man, I just like I, well, I just met Whoopi in the hallway, so that was a big. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, I love her. She's great. Um, I'm just looking forward to playing. The set looks amazing, and you know, looking forward to jamming out again. You know, awesome. Yeah. So I'm here with Yasmin Lee, who is our associate movement director. Is that right? Something like that. Come something, something like that. So what's uh, what's the most challenging thing about taking what we have on stage and then putting it into another venue? The most challenging is um, a new space, and not just a new space, but it's a generally we're in very small spaces with TV studios, very small spaces relative to the space that we're used to moving in. Um, so it's not a matter of just remounting the choreography, it's being able to find new patterns for people to navigate the various rooms, because there's always 
an extra appendage with the neck and, and yeah and there's a lot of a lot of guitars up there and a lot of big pieces of instruments and that's the pianos big moving people, yeah <laughs> what's been your favorite one to do so far uh, this one right here right now yeah. hands down without a thought. the director's really amazing yeah. the director is amazing amazing yeah, that's what everybody's been saying he's incredible um i did a walk through the space a week ago exactly and when I came, he literally had a notebook. He had uh, graphed our whole piece that we were going to do. He had watched our scratch tape that we made for Letterman. He had watched Letterman. He had watched the Today Show. He asked questions like why things were filmed on one and not the other. He overlaid them. He's like, the tempo is different on these two. Like, it was amazing. Not just that he was breaking it down, but it was for him to have a better understanding so that he could present us in the best way possible. Can I say that? Yeah, no, you can say that. Yes. Yeah. It's totally fine. It's going to yeah. be great. It's, it's going to be amazing. Fantastic. Um, all right, so that's Yasmin, and uh, we're going to go around and meet some more folks. Once a Salesman. Zygo, what is Once a Salesman? Once a Salesman is our softball team, which we have a game that starts in about an hour and a half. Wow. So, you know, you make exceptions to miss the beginning of the softball games. <laughs> And uh, this happens to be one of the good ones. So, uh, Who are we playing today? We are playing How to Succeed. Ooh, so man. Kick that's going to be a tough the, uh, one for me to root for, though. I got a lot of friends in that show. Mm, that's too bad. I don't know, man. Maybe, uh, do you guys, Town Pride, can man. you tie? No. He's live, brother. Can you tie? <laughs> sure. Can we tie? Yeah. <laughs> no, no prisoners. No, no, no prisoners. Take no prisoners. <laughs> that's a really nice banner. Where did you get that? Thank you. We had them ordered from Staples. That's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> and a little a little plug for staples there. Edit that out, man. I love it. Hey man, uh, what are you most excited about being here at the View today? I'll tell you, I'm excited by those screens. There were uh, when we walked in, they had these like LED screens that surrounded it, and it replicated our stage. I was shocked to see it. It was really pretty awesome. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome in there, yeah, huh? I was really psyched about it. And the space is great, and it's, it's gonna be fun. Are you excited? Maybe you might get a chance to to meet Betty White. Yeah. She's an icon. Yeah, she really is, right? You can just kind of feel her in the room, yeah? Oh, yeah. Kind of like Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it still smells in that dressing room a little bit. Of course it does. Yeah. But nothing bad. It doesn't smell like anything bad. It's just how he rolls. All right, man. Well, enjoy the performance. Thanks, buddy. You too. Right, later. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I'm in costume. Uh, the view is on TV. We're getting ready to head upstairs to do our performance, and uh, it's very exciting. Just got to meet Betty White. She said she would gladly be my date to the Tonys, so we're just gonna. I'll talk to her people, try to work that out, and see what we can make happen. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go up and do the performance, and then uh, after that, it's off to physical therapy for the day. So I will catch you then. I just came back to the dressing room, took a little nap, and I'm gonna drop my stuff off and head over to PT. Now, PT, physical therapy. Doing this show eight times a week, uh, especially, I mean, most shows you always have PT on anyway. Um, it's just a, a lot of demand on the body, especially dancers, but actors as well, uh, musicians, we all have the same problems. But in this show, particularly, it's, uh, it's difficult because of the instruments. Um, I have a guitar basically around my neck for two and a half hours. And I'm pretty much on my feet for two and a half hours uh, every night. So uh, three times a week um, on a Wednesday and Saturdays, <clears throat> excuse me, Wednesdays and Saturdays at the theater, I have PT. And then on Thursday afternoons, I go for a longer PT session on my own, um, which is really, really nice. It's this great guy, his name is Keith Stiles. I go and spend an hour with him. He gets my body sort of right and set. I've got a terrible... Uh, so what they call the strap shoulder, you know, where your guitar strap is sort of limiting your shoulder and it just pops and cracks back there. It's no good. Um, so I'm going to go do that and then back here for a show. So I will see you back here, probably most likely in costume, and, uh, and I will say my goodbyes. Okay, guys, so that was it. Uh, it's now 7.40ish. I'm getting ready to head downstairs to do pre-show, and uh, that was it. That was a taste of the day in the life. One exciting thing was, some of you may have seen this on Instagram, but I got a magical beep frog from the Book of Mormon. So this has been an awesome week for me. This thing has brought me non-stop good luck and some pleasure because, you know, it is a beep frog after all. So uh, enjoy. I'll see you next week. 
Take care.